Hello Williams class. For today's comprehension lesson and also for the term coming ahead, we are going to be learning about the Romans. So we are going to start reading our text today, which is right here. It is ancient Rome. So obviously, if you were in the classroom with me, you would have this in your hands. But unfortunately, I'm not able to do that for you. Um, so we are going to have to just have it on the screen for us there. Um, so obviously you'd normally write your name and your class and this is just a reminder of the types of things that we look for when we're reading and answering questions. So you're looking for vocabulary, you're looking to infer, to really get all that information that you need from the text. You're looking to predict, so really figuring out what you think might uh, come up in the text or what you think might happen in a, in a story or in an event. Um, you're looking to retrieve information, so really grabbing all sorts of information that you can find from the text in order to help you answer questions about it. And then you're looking to summarise, which is where you're not um, writing lots and lots of sentences to talk about what you're reading about, but it's just short, simple sentences to um, summarise. That's what summarise means. Um, you're using shorter you're, you're using up fewer words, you're using up less words to talk about the text. Now, this text in particular is non-fiction, so it's different to um, our comprehension in the past. So that should be really fun and exciting. So I am going to read the text to you. And what I would like for you to do is just listen very carefully. And if at any point I read out a word and you're not sure about what it might mean, you can pause the video and then maybe grab a dictionary or maybe search on Google what you think that word might mean. Or if you would like, you can make a mental note, maybe write it down somewhere and then let me know about the word and we can discuss the definitions together. So. I am going to read through now. The rise of Rome. According to legend, Rome was founded in 753 BCE by twin brothers Romulus and Remus, sons of the god Mars. Over the next thousand years, it became the capital of one of the most powerful empires in history. Rome began as a small city-state ruled by kings. In 509 BCE, the last king was driven out and Rome became a republic. The early Roman civilization was influenced by two neighboring peoples, the Etruscans and the Greeks. So we're going to do my turn, your turn for the key words here. The first key words are Greek art. Greek art. The Romans admired and copied the realistic figures in Greek art. So you have an example of the art there. Now my turn, your turn. The Etruscans. The Etruscans. The Etruscan people lived in a group of city-states north of Rome and were highly influenced by Greece. They were great traders, architects and engineers. Etruscan art. This Etruscan bronze sculpture shows a three horse chariot running over a fallen man. Oh no. The Etruscans may have given Rome the idea of chariot racing. The Greeks. The Greeks had founded colonies across southern Italy and had built many wealthy cities with fine temples and houses. These Greek colonies eventually came under Roman control, bringing with them their art and culture. River God. This clay face shows that the Greeks were skilled potters. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. The Romans modelled their goddess Venus on the Greek goddess of love, Aphrodite. Elephant army. In 218 BCE, a Carthaginian general called Hannibal marched his army and 37 elephants from Hispania, modern day Spain, to Italy over the Alps. Hannibal won many battles in Italy, but never captured Rome. He fought on for years in Italy while the Romans attacked Hannibal's bases in Spain and North Africa. Finally, the Carthaginians withdrew 
Rome had won new lands, but at a high price. Victory symbol. The Romans thought of the spirit of military victory as a goddess, as shown in this bronze statuette. The goddess holds a crown of laurel leaves. Expansion. Expansion. After the wars with Carthage, Rome defeated other powerful states to the east. The generals who won these conflicts began to compete with each other for power, which led to bitter civil wars. Hispania, Britannia, Gaul, Africa, Carthage, Rome, Illyricum, Syria, Egypt. The shadow of Rome. The Roman Empire was divided into provinces. Most of the Mediterranean had fallen to Rome by 50 CE and the empire was at its height by the second century CE. Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. General Julius Caesar defeated his rivals and began to rule Rome like a king. Eventually, he was assassinated by a group of Roman senators. A ship of war. The Romans learned from Carthage how to fight at sea. This clay plaque above shows a war galley, propelled by oars with a ram at the front that was used to sink other vessels. Next time I will make the screen bigger. Um, so that is our text that we're going to be looking at today. It's not the whole book, of course, it's just a small part of it. It's a couple of pages. So what I would like for you to do, just to remind you, is if there are any words that you don't understand the meaning of or you don't know what they mean, pause the video every time you hear it and just have a quick Google search or grab a dictionary, maybe even ask an adult if they know what it means. We're going to move on to the questions now. It looks a little bit different to how we have done comprehension before, so listen very carefully to understand what we are going to be doing. Now, you can see these questions here. Who can tell me how many questions you can see? I hope everyone is saying five. There are five questions there. And what you're going to do is we are going to read out the questions together so every single person knows what the question is saying. I'm going to go through with you where you can find the answer to these questions and then I will tell you what we will do after that. So number one the question says or it asks us according to the legend Rome was founded by Reuben and Ray, Reggie and Ronald, Romulus and Remus, Rebecca and Roy. So there are four options there and you only have to tick one. Tick. Who can show me what tick looks like? Tick, not cross, not circle, not anything except for a tick. And really try to make it as neat as possible in the box. So what I think that answer is, is within the first paragraph, because I remember reading something about two people. So I wonder if you can figure out by reading the text which two people they were. Number two, find and copy two things that influenced the Roman civilization. So two things, or maybe even two people, that influenced Roman people at the time. So where I think I would find that would be maybe at the end of this paragraph, where the early Roman civilization was influenced by... That is for you to find out and write down. So two things, remember, not one not three, we're looking for two things. Number three. Now it says here actually, look at the Greek section, so it's telling us where to look. And the question is, what is something the Romans admired and copied? So I'm going to do what they said and I'm going to go to the Greek section. There we go, that's the Greek section. I know that's the Greek section because it's the title of the paragraph. I'm going to look over there and see if I can find what um, the Romans admired and what they then copied. Number four, draw four lines to match the following facts. Show me with your fingers, how many is four again? It's this much, we need to draw four lines to match the following facts. So on the left hand side, you have your fact. On the right hand side, you have the year. So you need to look at your text super, super carefully to make sure you don't get confused about which date goes with which fact. Read the fact, see if you can find the fact in the text. And then all you have to do is just keep reading around it to see which year it belongs to. 
So that's number four. Remember, you're drawing really nice lines. What would really, really impress me is if you were to use a ruler to do that because rulers do make our lines look a lot neater. Last question is, what does the word expansion mean? So you're going to look for the word expansion. I think I saw it quite big actually in this text, maybe on this page somewhere. So you need to look for the word expansion and then all you have to do is just tell me what that means. So when they use the word expansion, what do they use it for? What does it mean? And you're just going to write a sentence to tell me what that word means. So those are the five questions that you're going to be doing for your comprehension. So what I would like for you to do is, um, when I'm reading the text to you, previously I just read the text to you, you can pause the video there so you can see the text and you can then answer the questions on a piece of lined paper, um, answer them, take a picture of your answers, put it onto tapestry and then we will go through the answers in our next video for comprehension. So good luck, take your time, making sure that our handwriting is as neat as it was before we left for the Christmas holidays. I will be checking to see our finger spaces, our spelling, and maybe even try some cursive handwriting if you're still a little bit nervous too. Um, I look forward to seeing your answers. I will see you very, very soon, Williams class.